Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So friends, uh, in today's session, we are going to see how we can access an S3 bucket from an EC2 instance. So it's going to be a very interesting uh, session today. I, I would request you all to you know uh, continue and you know, watch this uh, video until till the end so that you will get to learn exactly how we can do this. And there are some of the steps that uh, I have noted down that we need to follow. So the first step would be like uh, we need to launch an EC2 instance of uh, like uh, it's recommended to use the free tier since we are uh, doing this for the testing purpose and you can do this in the default region which is US East 1 that is Northern Virginia. Uh, after this let's create an S3 bucket uh, again in the same region so we need to ensure that the S3 bucket region is the same as that of our EC2 instance and uh, once created we can upload some of the files and public access should be enabled okay so this we need to uh, take care post this would be uh, we need to create an IAM role this is basically an identity access management role it's kind of you know uh, authorization so that it will enable our EC2 instance to read uh, our read and write uh, S3 bucket uh, the fourth step would be we need to attach this uh, the uh, IAM role that we have created in the third step okay then we need to you know log into our EC2 instance and we need to download and install AWS CLI so AWS CLI is kind of you know uh, a software uh, you can say an API from AWS that we need to install on this EC2 instance so that we can run some of this command lines uh, you know or run some command from on the uh, command line so basically we can either use AWS CLI or S3 browser in order to access our S3 bucket so in this session uh, we are going to you know uh, work with AWS CLI and here is the link that we need to you know uh, copy and from here we can download and install AWS CLI software okay post this we can go to our command prompt on the EC2 and you know try to access our S3 bucket so we can use some of the commands like AWS S3 LS basically this command will list all those S3 buckets which are created in that particular region and uh, we can also see you know how we can copy and sync or delete operations using the EC2 instance like copying from you know, S3 folder to our local uh, machine and vice versa so that's we are going to see so you know it will be uh, you know lots of fun so stay tuned okay so let's get started I have already created an EC2 instance as well as an S3 bucket okay. so yep. let's get started so you need to log in to the EC2 instance and uh, uh, sorry AWS command line and here you can see I have already launched an EC2 instance so this is running in uh, Northern Virginia region it's a Windows based machine okay and uh, for that yeah I have also created an S3 management console with object you know full access to the objects inside this bucket so you can refer my other previous videos in order to uh, you know get to learn how we can create an s3 bucket so you will get to know so here you can see i have uploaded two images uh, inside this s3 bucket okay so now the first thing would be let's create an iam role so for that just type iam and here you will see under services it will launch to this page I am management console and here we need to create a new role okay so let's create a new role let's click on the rules and let's try to create a new role click on create role Yeah, so since we need to, you know, uh, th these are like some of the you know, different options it allows us. So for the AWS service, we need to create, okay. And there will be like, yeah, you just select AWS service since we need to allow EC2 instance, which is one of the AWS service to allow S3 bucket. So let's create AWS service and click on next. Yeah, we need to select here in the use case EC2 for EC2 okay and click next so 
under the permission policies you need to type s3 and click on so here you can see different different and these orange boxes these are you know the significance of these are created by aws so there will be like two types of uh, policies one will be user created and another will be aws created so these are aws created you can see orange boxes here here let's select amazon s3 full access click on this box click on next and uh, let's give a say a meaningful name say for example ec2 2s3 here you can see in the description it's it allows ec2 instances to call aws services on your behalf here it's, it's aws services that is s3 bucket that we are going to access okay and create role so within seconds it will create a new role okay you can see our role ec2 to im to s3 im has been created okay so now let's go back to our ec2 instance and here you let's select this ec2 instance go to actions and you will see im role under say it's the security and you can see there is an option modify im role click on that and here we need to select that uh, you know s3 are uh, like im role that we have created so let's uh, this was the ec2 to s3 im that was the role that i had we had created and click on save yeah so here you can see a message successfully attached this im role to is ec2 instance so, so we are good now and let's now log in to our ec2 instance okay and let's uh, work on the further steps so for that this is the ec2 instance that i had launched the first thing will be go to server manager we need to do you know a little bit modification before we install the aws command line that software aws CLI. go to server manager inside this one go to local server and here you can see an option i.e. enhance security consideration which is on at present this is kind of firewall okay so since we need to install uh, download uh, that software from the internet and install so i am going to disable this for now so let the both select off and click on ok yeah you can see it's it's reflecting as off now okay so the next thing will be we need to download and install that aws cli software for that i have given a link uh, in the same ppt and i will also share this link in the description you can copy it from there go to browser here in this case the default browser is uh, microsoft edge just open it yeah and here we need to copy that link on the ppt So it will start downloading this this is a very small so you can see it's around 28 mb okay so it will download this one and it's already it's just downloaded this one okay so let's click on this it's in the download section you can see here let's go to download folder and install this aws cli software install
yeah on this welcome page uh, just click on next then accept the terms in the license agreement click on next okay here we don't need to do anything just directly click on next and click on install so yeah, it will quickly install yeah this got completed let's click on finish okay so the next step would be let's create a folder okay so that we can access our s3 bucket and download the files from that s3 bucket to here so that under say c let me create a folder known as s3 bucket 01 this is the folder we can use this folder in order to download our files from uh, that s3 bucket you can ignore this okay now go to search bar and here you can type command like we need to access the command line Go to command prompt so the first command we are going to use is aws s3 ls yeah for the first time you know, it will take a, a little bit delay and afterwards we will get the, the output in yeah quickly. you can see here it's ec2 to s3 bucket that's the name of s3 bucket it's uh, showing us say we need to see what's inside this s3 bucket let's click uh, type aws s3 ls and that name of that bucket it's ec2 to s3 bucket 01 you can see there are two images here okay so these are the images so next thing uh, would be like let's try to copy these uh, files or you know images from this s3 bucket to our folder uh, in the c, c drive so it's c s3 bucket okay so so friends uh, let's let's change uh, the directory from c users to administrator to you know our uh, the folder that we have created okay so for that just change this to its s3 bucket that we had created okay and right now you can see there is nothing inside this okay so this is the s3 bucket and we need to copy the content from this s3 bucket to this folder so for that let's see there's a command okay let's use this command it's aws s3 cp s3 column ec2 to s3 bucket 01 and let's give the dot for the current directory and you know this is the uh, syntax we need to use recursive so it will copy everything from this s3 bucket to uh, our you know uh, uh, this uh, this folder s3 bucket yeah you can see it's downloaded this file there were two photos or two files uh, inside this s3 bucket so it's downloaded both of these files to this folder let's go and validate okay let's yeah you can see here yeah the there are two files that it had downloaded okay you can see here let's try to open So both of these files got uh, 
you know downloaded so now let's see let's try to create a file here inside the this folder test.txt and try to copy something here okay. so we have this test.txt okay so we need to copy this file from, from our local folder to our s3 buckets okay let's see how we can do that for that it's let's AWS S3 CP so uh, let's try to you know upload this file from our uh, this folder on the local machine from here to S3 bucket okay so it's AWS S3 CP let's give the name of that file then bucket name it's EC2 to S3 bucket zero one enter. Yeah, you can see a message like uh, it's uploaded from our local folder to our S3 bucket. We can even validate that. Let's say WS S3 LS, then our S3 bucket which is EC2 to S3 bucket zero one. So you can see uh, uh, in the beginning we had these two files mount everest this uh, mount everest.jpg and mountain.gfif and right now like we were able to upload this file that test.txt from our local folder to s3 bucket okay and say in case you are not sure about the commands or you are finding it difficult you can simply put aws s3 and help So it will list you know all these commands here for your see say for example CP for copying move for moving uh, like you know CP will be copy and move will, it will be like cut paste then RM you know for the deleting of the files okay and even see you need to see the help for the sub command you can type AWS S3 CP and help just for an example so you will see here there are lots of commands and you can play around with this these commands okay and please ensure once you are able to do this explore these options you you go back and empty your s3 bucket as well as you know uh, just delete that s3 bucket and the don't forget to delete the our ec2 instance as well okay so friends i hope you enjoyed today's session and uh, i thought you know i i hope it was fun if you enjoyed it okay Stay tuned and uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. It's Cloudwood, Cloudwood Mohsin. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.